Thanks for watching Squirrel Fun. Comment below and let me know what you would like to see in future videos. Subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever I upload something new. Check out some of my other videos for short trivia lessons and quick bits of knowledge so that you can learn something new every day, even with your busy schedule. Peace, love, rock and roll. Enjoy! America is not a democracy. The current ideology in modern politics is that the only thing we need is a majority in Congress to pass a law and that everything they can pass by majority vote is lawful, enforceable, and by default, supposedly, constitutional. Maybe that's where we get all this crazy rhetoric about democracy. Some people actually believe that America is a democracy, or is being applied as a democracy in Congress. Not one voice, one vote per person in America, but democracy in Congress. See, this is where we really jump the rails with this kind of talk about democracy. People actually think that we are a democracy. It doesn't take any more energy to simply say that America is a constitutional republic. But because we keep saying that America is a democracy, you've got people that think a majority vote in Congress is the equivalent of the Constitution. Seriously now, that is just completely and utterly ridiculous. That's where this democracy speech gets us. When people in Congress think that the vote of Congress is the equivalent of the Constitution. It is so important that you and all people you know of like mind refer to America as a constitutional republic. Because that's what's what tells people that a majority vote of Congress is not the equivalent of the Constitution. One of the framers of the Constitution, James Wilson, said that it's the Constitution that predominates. Therefore, any act by Congress, contrary to the Constitution, is null and void. Your majority vote becomes null and void if it is not consistent with, or in the language of the Constitution, pursuant to, the Constitution. That's why we call it a constitutional republic. A republic is where the laws are created by representation. A democracy is where the laws are created by popular vote. But a republic is where laws are made through equal representation so that a majority can't overrule a minority. The majority can't make a vote to enslave the minority. In whatever form or fashion that slavery might actually come, financial slavery, economic slavery, property slavery, indentured servitude, or actual physical imprisonment slavery. The majority can't vote in a law to put the minority into servitude. In a democracy, that's the way it works. The majority can vote to put the minority into servitude. But in a constitutional republic, where laws are created by equal representation of all groups, the minority has the same voice in lawmaking as the majority. We are a constitutional republic, which is a very specific kind of republic. As a constitutional republic, the government of the legislative, the government of the judiciary, the government of the executive, they are all strictly created and strictly bound and limited by the terms of the Constitution. We put the government in a constitutional box. They are not able to leap out of it by their own accord. They are not able to vote outside of it by their own accord. They are not able to redefine their box. They are not able to reapply their box or reinterpret their box. Any functions outside their box are null and void. That's why it's important to make sure you say that America is a constitutional republic, 
It really truly matters. If we are going to retain liberty in America, if we are going to secure liberty for our future, we have got to get it right. The key to maintaining our republic is knowing how our republic is supposed to work. It is not a democratic republic. That's gobbledygook. That doesn't mean anything at all. It is a specific constitutional republic that the government is created and confined by the Constitution. Our government is not created and defined by the majority vote. Our government is not created and defined by the, by the majority will of the people. Bottom line, the Constitution was created to ensure that the population would be free from the majority rule. From the ebb and flow of the wave and the majority or the mob rule, the rule of society and the current political opinion and the current popular opinion. Our Constitution is in writing to be a static standard. The problem in our country today is not that the politicians don't read the Constitution. The problem is that our politicians don't follow the standard. They don't abide by the Constitution.